This week on What to Watch, Fish Monsters, Satanic Books, and Bathtub Slugs. If you're not already in line to see Acreman 2, I say bring on the fun bags. I say bring on the monsters. Because it's Monster Madness here on Cinefix. Here's where you can find some of our favorite monster movies online. Netflix has The Host, but it also has The Host. The one you want to watch is in Korean and has a giant tentacle in the poster. It was made in 2006. The one to avoid is the one that's based on the book by the author who penned Twilight. It's about people who have insanely blue eyes. I don't know, I didn't watch it. Let me know if I should in the comments below. Anyway, The Host, the good one, is a really great story about family unity. <laughs> while they're being chased by a giant fish monster. It's repeatedly cited around our office as one of the best monster movies of all time. It's also subtitled. Some people don't like subtitles. Some people let subtitles scare them away from giant mutant fish murdering people. Don't let subtitles scare you away from giant mutant fish murdering people. Subtitles. Camera Obscura is an incredibly well-crafted horror series by Drew Daywell that you can find right here on YouTube. When Clara's grandfather dies, she discovers that he was in the process of capturing multiple demons that are now torturing and killing their way across Los Angeles. It's super creepy. And the creature effects are really well done. It originally aired in 2010, but if you missed it, it's definitely worth going back to watch because it feels like a really good budget indie horror film. Make sure you tell them that what to watch thing. <laughs> If you're looking for some laughs with your horror, Netflix has Slither. Its director, James Gunn, is currently filming a little movie called Marvel's Guardians of the Galaxy, so maybe his earlier work is worth checking out. Slither is nuts. It's about a meteorite crashing into Earth, unleashing a horde of space slugs. I know it sounds stupid, but this movie's really self-aware and actually mines a lot of jokes out of the premise. And hey, Nathan Fillion is in this as a small town sheriff. But actually my favorite performance is from Michael Rooker who went on to play Merle Dixon in The Walking Dead. Oh my God, baby, what happened to your face? It's just a bee stink. Which is really saying something when you have Greg Henry as the endlessly quotable mayor. Look it up, cocksucker. Those are our picks online this week. Tell us what you're watching in the comments below and come back next week for more What to Watch. Make sure you also check out on Monday our original B-movie monster short, Fear Force 5.